It began five years ago when I was working in a very boring office job and on my lunch breaks I would read through other people's blogs. Then when I left the office job and moved to Northampton I decided to start my own and then whilst I was on maternity leave with my daughter um, I started a YouTube channel and just got really into it and then by the time it was time to go back to my office job um, it had grown enough for me not to need to do that and to really focus on it. And now this is, this is, this is your job. I mean, you make, you make a good living at it. How, how does it actually work making money out of all this? Well, it's the same as a lot of things. There is advertising on videos. You might have noticed when you watch YouTube videos, little ads pop up. Um, and obviously lots of side projects that we do, like I've just finished doing a, a live talk called Louise Live and the book and lots of other projects. So lots of different revenue streams, but it really is like the dream to be able to do something creative and something you love, especially like a book. Now you've done a, done a few celebrities, Kim Kardashian and, and Kylie Minogue, but where does Ed Miliband fit in in all this? Well, yes, he's not my normal sprinkle of glitter guest, that's for sure. Um, but when the election was happening, they contacted us and said, would we like to do something? And I said, I would if it could be... Um, so it was their idea, yeah. They contacted us yeah. to ask what we thought the youth wanted, because obviously my demographic is very young, and that's a demographic that they would like to tap into, as it were. And um, Ed said, could we do something? And I said, we can if it's not biased towards any party. It's got to be party agnostic. So it was not who should you vote for, but why you should vote. I mean, I was interested in that. Why did you do that? Because Russell Brand, of course, I mean, he took a political position and then he backed Ed and all that. And, and you were very he careful did. not to. Why, why was that? Because I think that I have my own political views, but I don't know the political views of every single person watching my channel. And for me, I was passionate about people voting because it's important yeah. for the future of our country. So I didn't want to say this is who you should vote for. I wanted to say make an educated decision, but here's why you should make that educated decision. And he, uh, his task was to persuade you to vote. He, yes. Was he successful? He was. I did vote. Are you going to tell us who for? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I mean, uh, it struck me that, you, well, uh, you got the better of him, really, didn't you, to a certain extent? Well, I know you weren't nice. trying to. I wasn't trying to, actually. I did start, before we turned on the camera, I said, don't worry, I'm not going to be really horrible. I just want to have a nice video with you. And he seemed glad of that. It was quite late in the day, so it was actually quite a nice chat, really. But, yeah, I mean, you asked him that question, um, which really put your thumb on the whole thing. Um, is your mum proud of you? Yeah, and she was. He said his mum was proud of him. Who, who else would you like to do? Well, we did ask the other um, party candidates, and that they were either busy or declined. Um, so, I don't have a, a hit list of people I'd like to interview, but people that I think are interesting or people that I think would be worthwhile for my viewers to have some kind of interaction with or to see, or people that the average sprinklerino, which is 18 to 24, might not engage with, I think that's a worthwhile thing to do. I mean, I was looking on YouTube today, and I think it's nearly half a million people now have, have watched your encounter with Ed Miliband. So That's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot, isn't it? I try not to think about it when I'm filming. Yeah. I mean, what, what, what's the sort of typical audience? You do what, one a week, is it? Or what I usually do one a week on my main channel, and then kind of ad hoc on my second channel, which is a bit more behind the scenes. Second channel? Yes, that's called Sprinkler like the BBC. Chatter. I mean, I mean, that's what we're it? filming for over there, actually, so that we yeah. slip... And slip what's that about? Um, that's usually just my day-to-day -day life, so my main channel is sat yeah. down static videos, but that's just with a little handheld camera where I'm like, oh, I'm just going to the shops, or I'm just looking after Darcy, that's my daughter. So that's a lot more casual. I like your cat, actually. You've got a nice cat. I've yeah. got two cats, Rocket and Zula. I like my babies. And... Uh, since you obviously uh, spotted what was happening in uh, communications long before we ever did, what's next? What's, where, where are you going to take a sprinkle from here? I don't know. It's such a hard question because if you'd said five years ago, what's next? I wouldn't have looked for, I wouldn't have said, oh, a book and a live show. I wouldn't have known. So I don't know what it is, but I'm very excited for what's to come. Okay. Louise Pennant, thank you very much thank indeed. Thank you very much.